Welcome to Jumping the Broom Podcast. I'm Marco. And I am Cherish. And this is episode one. Cheers. So you gotta drink your Oh man. Come on in. <laughs> so we're gonna give you guys a look into our lives. Um, we're gonna do this podcast to kind of let you guys know what it's like to take these days one by one as we're getting married. Uh, the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, the mm -hmm. laughs, the cries. Um, but why don't you give them a little bit of what they should expect? Um, so some of the things that you'll be expecting from our podcast is one wedding updates, uh, updates on me, getting my dress, venue stuff, drama, all the big things. You'll get the updates from us on that. Um, other couples coming on kind of giving us their different perspectives on different topics. Some Q and A, some fun experiences, some not so fun experiences. So get ready. Absolutely. And on top of that, we're gonna have a great time while we do this. So you know, we're hoping that you guys enjoy this thing. We have some great ideas planned for you, um, and we're actually just gonna kick it off with um, a little bit about how we met. So I think I need to put some more <laughs> before we start. She doesn't like this story, by the way. But I don't know. You want? You want? You sure you want me to tell it? I mean, you could start, but I'm gonna. You want some more? No. <laughs> y'all see what y'all see what she be doing, all right? Y'all see what she do. All right. All right. So um, we met three years ago, right? Three years ago. What's this year? They just all like crumbling together. So. That's a fact. So three years ago, um, I was actually I'm in a fraternity, and my fraternity brothers and I we were doing some media stuff. And uh, one day, the, we wanted some guests to join us uh, on what we were doing. They was trying to scout some joints. Cheers to that. <laughs> um, so we invited some guests over, and her and her friend were supposed to be guests on our show. Mm -hmm. uh, just like women, you know what I'm saying? They told us one thing and didn't do it because they never came. I just wanted to let y'all know. But what we did do Hold was... On. <laughs> First of all, this is new news. Y'all didn't come. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> just like the guy that I am as a single man at that time, I asked the guy, you know, like, well, what do they look like? You know what I'm saying? Are they cute? You know, because we be, we be needing to know. that matters. Yeah, because we be needing to know. So, um, I asked him about that, and I saw a picture of her. And I just... And I was... Cute. I knew she was gonna be mine right then and there. <laughs> nah, but um, I was like, yo, you know, like, what's up with her? She's single, you know, what's up? So he gave me, you know, her status or whatever, and I think we exchanged numbers or Instagrams or something yeah. like that, right? Uh, I think it was numbers at first. But I think that was like, let's just no, say that was like a Monday. No, he gave you my number. You text me. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, That's how gotcha, that went. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because I wasn't pressed. But y'all know I pull up like Steph, and as you can see, it was swish. But, um, so I think that was like, let's just call it a Monday, right? Yeah, that was like a Monday. We went out on a date on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Our very first date. It was a Friday. windy Friday. It was and a windy. My job says too windy to come to work, so don't come to work. He keeps saying it was never windy, but, you know. It was windy, but she makes it seem like it was. It was a wind advisory. She makes it seem like there was a tornado going on I outside. never said, okay. I never said it was a tornado, but it was just very windy. Okay. That's it. So, we went to one of my favorite restaurants, um, and she was late. Let's 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 just let's let's put it out there, y'all. She wasn't fashionably late. She was very late. Very bad first impression. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, I don't like parking in DC. You've got to tell me what DC. And this was on a Friday, so it was like in the middle of the day. No parking. Had to go look around for pocket and it was windy, so. Okay. And I didn't want to go. So let's stop right there. <laughs> Cause that's very important. That's a very important part of this story. Will you please tell the people why you did not want to go on a date with this romantic guy such as myself. Okay. After we've been texting all week, by the way. Just because I was texting don't mean I was like super interested. So you wasn't interested? I mean, this is news to me. No, I'm just saying was like... Was my text gang weak? No. I was impressed that you asked me to date that soon. Okay. That was impressive because 
at the time, like, you know, when you're talking to people, you're in those situationships. And you talk for, like, months and months and months or weeks. And then it's like, oh, well, let's hang out with things, like, going to their house. Mm -hmm. You know, that's about that. So tell us why you didn't want to go. I just wasn't feeling men at the time. So you was feeling girls? <laughs> I said myself up with that one. No. I just... It was just too many men that I had dated at the time. It was just like a lot going on. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to break. Okay. I just wanted to be single for real. Like not, oh, I'm single, but I'm talking to somebody. Or I'm single and I'm texting somebody. Like I really wanted to be like single. So what made you go? My best friend. Your best friend told you she to go. She said you need to go. Yep. Your best friend is a great friend. I'm just saying. She knew what was best for you at that time. Shout out Brittany, man. Shout out to Brittany. But anyway, um, we had a great dinner. I, I would say dinner, right? Like, cause it was, it was like early. It was like afternoon. It was like four yeah, or five o'clock. Yeah. But I was, um, I don't know. I think at first I was kind of like uneasy, mm -hmm. cause I never went on like. Oh, this is almost like a blind date. Cause sure. I seen you like on Instagram, but and like you know Instagram be lying. Yeah, cause I definitely thought you were African. Do see your picture. Look at me and look at you. Yeah. You know, Instagram and Instagram, everybody don't look like themselves. So, seeing you, I was like, oh. And I don't know you. Like, I only been texting you for like four days. So, I don't right. know you. So, to go out with you, that was a first. Because normally I talk to people for a long time before we go on a date. Right. But I had a game. So, that's what it really boiled down to. Take strength. <laughs> so, we have a great dinner, right? We have a great dinner. I think we had great conversation. Uh, we went to rival schools, so uh, we had a lot to talk about, a lot of little trash talk, little shots and stuff there. Um, but here's where it gets interesting, y'all. I always say that I gave her the date of her life because, you know, when the date was over, let's talk about when the date was You're over. You're definitely slicing it, but okay. Let's talk about when the date was over. So, I think that if the date is over, and a person shows that they kind of don't want the date to be over, they want the date to keep going, that they're enjoying the hell out of themselves. You feel what I'm saying? Now, at that point, we probably or, spent... Or, I could have just wanted to stay out. But why stay out with me, though? Touche. Take a sip. <laughs> so, the date was over, because we joke about this all the time. So, oh, the date was boy. over, and... I parked very far and she parked even though it took her forever to park no, and she was, was late that she was parked awful. closer to me but she offered to take me to my car at that point I was like she liked me you spent money on me so I mean but I'm just saying but even but if you didn't like me and didn't enjoy the date you wouldn't have offered to take me to my car I don't think that's just my personal yeah, I mean opinion. okay all right okay. so she offers to take me to my car but as we're walking, we see the frozen yogurt place. Mm -hmm. I'm not a frozen yogurt person. Well, I am now though. Like you, yeah. you kind of introduced me to it. I like it now, but mm -hmm. this is back in 2018. I was not eating frozen yogurt. So <laughs> shout out to soft serve ice cream. We know the real. So like we went to the frozen yogurt place, but I only went because she wanted frozen yogurt. I was very much intrigued and interested in her after the first day when the date concluded. But I told her she was equally, if not more, y'all, interested in me, no, your you, boy. You lying because you said you wasn't. First of all, don't call me a liar. I mean, okay, I okay, when well, you capping. <laughs> because <laughs> better. you said, what did you say? It was something about like the way I kept saying like, oh, I've done it before, been there before, guys. No, we, we, and you said you wasn't really feeling it. Oh, no, I was intrigued. I said I was intrigued and interested. So what was intrigued and interested if you felt he wasn't feeling that? So I'll, let's give them the backstory of what's going on. So okay. um, as we were enjoying our date, we were asking questions, you know, trying to get to know one another. And mm. every time I told her, you know, like, I'm not that kind of guy or... Heard it. Yeah. Like, that was her... Like, that's a, literally did. how her response was. Like, oh, I heard that before. I did. Right. But my thing was, I felt like... It was it was sort of turning me off, and I, I told her this before. But this I wanted you me. to know like the stuff that you were saying. But it, it wasn't like else. I was running game though. Like I, I can't it give sound, you more it than sound the like truth. it like it was. You think so? Yeah. And I got it. You're very like smooth talker. Hey now, but no. So no, honestly, I was I was getting turned off by her answers or rebuttals to what I was saying. 
and I've, I've we've had this conversation obviously off camera mm-hmm. plenty of times, but it did kind of throw me off because at the time I was single and dating, and I kind I was in school. Were you really dating though, or were you? I was in school for my masters, and I wasn't really tripping about if I had someone to call yeah. a significant other at that time. So I was kind of getting turned off a little bit, but. She was very cool. She was she was very much the type of woman that I like and that I typically, you know, I'm drawn to. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean you ain't Kelly Rosen or nothing, but <laughs> But no, wow. so anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, the date concluded and we went to the frozen yoga place. Now when we went to the frozen yoga place, I realized that she wasn't ready for I always say she wasn't ready for the date to end because I don't like frozen yogurt. And if y'all heard her, she didn't want to be there. And I had another date. She had another date, which is wild. But she had another date. So the idea. And it was a tornado going on. Don't (laughs) forget y'all. It was a tornado going on. So all of these things said, why not just go home and leave? But she wanted to go get frozen yogurt with your boy and take me back to my car, which she did. And I appreciate that. Yeah, I was going to say, because now you sound a little like. Like you trying to like say like you're a man or something like that. It's definitely a man. Y'all heard her say I'm a smooth talker. Anyway, Ugh. but our first date was extremely interesting. Mm-hmm. And I think we talk about it all the time because I always say like all signs really pointed to her not going on a date with me. But it did happen and what would have happened if she not it was gone. went on a date, right? Like we wouldn't be getting ready to jump the room, right? It was so, gone. I thought it was super dope. I think it was super dope. Um, shout out to her friends. Shout out to the, to the tornado, the frozen ice cream. Well, frozen it yogurt. It was not a tornado. Whatever. Oh, but um, yeah, so that was our first date, man. I think our first date was super cool, super fun. And uh, we went on another date like the following weekend, mm-hmm. I think, right? We went we bowling. Went bowling, yep. I lost. Crushed you. I and lost. got you drunk. That's why I lost. No. So y'all, y'all, and y'all seen her try to get me to drink more wine. That's what she do. This wine, y'all, is seven percent. You're a man. He wasn't trying to take a shot starting the show. This is my first podcast, so I need some wine, a drink to kind of like get me, you know. But you look good, though. She look good, right? Um, nah. So again, first date was super funny to talk about because I always tell her I bagged her. You feel me? I bagged you. You don't have no game, though. You already said I was smooth and I don't thing, need right? to do all those things, though, like that you got to do. Like say things. I don't got to do all that. You, you, you was dating. I wasn't. I feel like you was dating. You just was going through a little phase. Because you can't say you wasn't dating because you still had you some little. And we're going to get into that in another episode. <laughs> but you had you some little dudes and stuff doing, you know, still hitting you up, following you and stuff like that. We'll talk about that later. So you had something. But that doesn't mean I was dating them. Like it just means like they was just still with me. But you so you wasn't feeding them no energy, is what you're saying. I mean I was uh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean I was going out on dates, like meaning like, oh, if you wanna like take me get something to eat, cool. But like I wasn't dating them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool, cool, cool. If that makes sense. But you were dating people, right? Not really, because I was in school. I that's an excuse. All right, that's not an excuse, y'all. This is a true story. I was working two jobs and in a master's program. I worked seven days a week, by the way. Still found time to go on a date. Because I begged you. No, I, I You work- didn't have no time, and you found time for me, because I begged you. All right, so for let me tell you how. So this is all about the first day. So this is the thing. I work seven days a week, but I'm not going to lie. Fridays, I work from home. So Fridays, all Fridays all the time. Right. So I didn't. I my my parents stayed close to the restaurant that we went to. Fridays was typically the day that I would go visit my parents. So instead of going to visit my parents that Friday, I scheduled a date with you. Okay. That's how that happened. So it wasn't like you were so special that all this time I didn't have, you took the one moment that I did have. Like, it ain't, it's so kind of that way, but not that So way. were you dating, like, other people, like, going out on other dates prior to? Other dates? No, nah, not really. Okay. Not really. I mean, I had girls that 
were of interest or were interested in me that I would give time to when I felt like it. But oh. I wasn't. I wasn't dating. Excuse I'm, me. Again, like I said, you, fellas, let's call a spade a spade. When you dating, you know how much money you gotta spend. I don't think women understand. That's why dudes don't be dating like that. Cause you always, they always want you to pay for the first date. I'm just saying, that's typically how it is. Yeah. So. What? A, what? So I wasn't dating like that. Cause who the hell spending all no that? No matter money? what the date is, like whether it's. Starbucks or ice cream, you need to be paying for it. Ten dollars. Would you have went on the first date to Starbucks with me? Well, I don't like coffee, so no. But ice cream, yeah. You sure not? It's not. It can't be frozen yogurt. It got to be frozen yogurt or is it ice cream? Nah, I could have did ice cream. I could have did ice cream. Man, but, but by what date number was it like? All right, like I like her. Like one, two, three, four. Well, it's just a woman thing when you remember like. I remember every I'm day. Not, I liked you. I liked you, although it was like a the first skeptical. date. You wasn't like. Fireworks. Damn. I thought it was. But no, but by the second date, I knew I liked you. Only because like we got a chance to see each other in a different space and different elements. It was so, fun. It was a fun date. Not and it was comp you know, I'm very competitive. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we went bowling and, and you know, lost. we were we were trash okay. We we didn't have to bring that part of. But we were trash talking yeah. and you know, I, I was like, okay, like I like that. Like mm -hmm. she not super sensitive. She can take a joke. You know, I play around. You gotta so. be like that with you. She ain't lying. But Ooh. I thought that that was super dope and it was super interesting. So, you know, by the second date, I knew that I wanted more. Thanks. I wanted more the dates. Date. I wanted more dates. I, don't, I ain't gonna say I wanted more. Cause I, I, mean, I could have had whoever. You know what I'm saying? That's neither here nor there, though. That's neither here nor okay. there. But, I mean, consider <laughs> considering what you were saying, Mm -hmm. How you weren't really you were over you were over guys basically yeah. like guys kind of just they just turned you completely off based on like your prior experiences yeah, yeah, yeah previous experiences so why did you I mean I know you said your best friend made you but you still got in your car you still drove through that tornado and you went You're on that killing me with the tornado and you went on that first date so I mean what was what was different. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm pretty sure like I wasn't the first guy that took interest to you. I mean, look at you. you yeah, know you know, <laughs> the girl's a catch, okay? But I think, like I said, so if I got your number on a Monday, for you it to probably say, was like a Wednesday, I'm just being honest. It, no, it might have been because I remember when you asked me like, do you want to go out? I was like, that's kind of fast. So that was like the first thing automatically like, okay, like he not wasting no time. Mm -hmm. And like I said, normally I would be in situationships for like years. Mm -hmm. Like I was in a situation for like four years before. Never was like Sorry, yeah. boyfriend, girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like I'm not used to, or I wasn't used to things moving as quickly mm -hmm. as they do. Even with, you know, becoming a boyfriend, girlfriend, proposing, that all was, I was shocked that mm -hmm. it happened so fast. Not saying like we were rushing or anything, but you get it. Um, and then prior to you, I was in a long-term relationship that lasted a while. And then after that person, I was like dating this person, then it ended, dating that person, then it ended. Mm -hmm. So this was fresh. It was new. Um, honestly, I dated a lot of like shorter guys. <laughs> you were tall, you were brown. So was it was, was kind of, you definitely look African in your <laughs> Do I look African in your I'm not African, but and shout out to the Africans. Shout you out to the Africans. look African, but I mean, I think I like only dated like two tall American, guys. African American, but I'm not African. I'm just saying, just in case. In your, I say in your Instagram pages. You told y'all Instagram you, me you, lying. You looked African. Mm -hmm. But like I said, prior to, I had only maybe dated like two guys. So I was like, I mean, two tall guys. So I'm like. Okay, he tall, like, you know, this is different. Awesome. And honestly, after the date, you know, you get on the phone, mm -hmm. you get in the car. Okay. And So who did you call? Well, honestly, I call, well, I called Brittany first. So, again, Brittany is the one who told her to the go The only reason I called her because she told me you better call me when you get in the car. Uh -huh. So I called her first and I told her everything, how it went. She mm -hmm. was like, oh, okay. And I already told her. And my other friends, prior to in our group chat, you know, the group chat gets popping, mm -hmm. that 
you looked African. So I was like, I don't know, I don't know y'all. He looked African. And I was one day, because I had dated a, a, a semi-African before. Who's like, a semi-African? Because you know how they be, they, a lot of these Africans... Uh, Americanized now. They say, oh, I'm from Nigeria. Oh, I'm from Syria. Yeah, but they never, they family. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Lineage. That's what I was saying, like, gotcha. kind of. Exactly. Gotcha. So, gotcha. I'm like, y'all, I'm not trying to deal with the Africans. No more. I'm not doing it. The but African, when you told me. African watchers are not going to like that. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, no, I'm just, I'm just not an African. I, I mean, now I know I can't deal with Africans. But yeah, so, I was like, I don't know about that. But then, when I got to know you, and I found out you wasn't African, at, like, at all. Mm -hmm. At all. DC. Do your do your veins, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Once I figured that out, I was like, okay, I can do that. Like I can, I can see myself going on another day. And she was mm -hmm. like, see, I told you, like I told you, it was gonna be a good day. But initially, we had already said like, just go, like get the free food. Like that's that's her thing. Just go, go date. Go get the free food. Go get the free food. Fellas, listen, <laughs> listen to me. Stop taking women to eat <laughs> on the first date because y'all see. What their what their plan is? No, okay? it's not even. A, if, I'm just saying, even if you were taking me for ice cream, like I didn't have to pay. I said like I didn't have my own why, money. Why didn't you have to pay though? Why would, did you offer to pay? I ain't. I don't need but at least on the second day, I was spending money. You did. Some girls. You did. Be married and still don't spend money. You did. Okay, you did. so you give did. me my props. But yeah, I gave you your so, props. I gave you your props. That's that. But I mean, I, it was very different. Like from the jump, from getting my number, mm -hmm. from asking me out. Quickly, it was just very different, and I just felt like, you know what? Let me just go for the ride. That was mm -hmm. my thing. But you want to know one thing I had in mind, like while we were on like our first date, second date, third date, was date and not act like you're the girlfriend before you're the girlfriend. Okay, and that I mean, worked. That's some that's some good that's some good uh, advice though. I think you know what I'm saying. That's some good advice. So I got a funny story. I well, I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, y'all have. But um, he not funny. I thought that you look like a different person in like almost every picture. I don't understand that. And this is not a lie. So one of my closest fraternity brothers, um, he and I, we talk about everything. So he was the first person I think I probably told about the date and everything. Really? But maybe I don't know. It was a long time ago. Yeah. But I know he and I, we like to we like to hit each other up and just talk trash anyway. So. I was like, yo, I sent him a picture. I sent him like four different pictures. And I was like, yo, which one of these girls look better? Mind you, he did not know that so you're I was sending you. <laughs> I didn't say that. He didn't know that I was sending him a picture of the same girl. So when I sent it to him, I was just hoping that he was going to be like, what are you talking about? This is the same girl. He was like, the third. One. I don't know. It was something like that. I mean, I sent him an order or whatever. I was like, he just like the third picture. I was like, bro, do you know that that's the same girl? I You're, promise no, you. No, both of y'all are stupid because, first of all, I look the same in my pictures. And you, the person you're asking who I know who it is, like, come on now. But hold on, though. Y'all this... listen, go follow me on Instagram. LaBella we'll underscore we'll Mafia. Cool all of that in the, and in tell the... me if I look different in my pictures. I don't. Okay. You I look don't... African. All right. And now you say I don't. <laughs> do I look African now? I mean, a, a little smidge. You could be All right, African. But, but it's fresh eyes, though. It's fresh eyes. So at the time, it was still fresh eyes. So do you think I look different now in my pictures? No, nah, because I, I wake up to you every day. I know everything about oh, you. No, but so what nice. I'm saying is, at the time, I thought that she took pictures like a different person. You were very attractive in they were They were different vibes. Maybe that's what it was. Like, I don't like know, Like, Gucci vibes a little picture. <laughs> Like, and like, I mean, know. I guess for women, like hairstyles, yeah, no, that, are you wearing yeah. makeup that day or not, yeah. going to an elegant event, whatever. But I was very thrown off by that. I'm not going to lie because I was like, I seen her in person because when I seen you in person, you had your little weave in, you feel me? And I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? She all right. But which one, which one of these people are you on the regular though? Wow. I ain't know. And you know, I'm, I'm happy with the finished product. You feel me? But... I thought wow. that that was. Well, they get his own with like wow makeup, cause you would never know. You right, you right. But shout out to my frat brother. But we really like went back and forth that whole day, just joking about it because. Oh man. <laughs> because I felt like you know what I'm saying. The pictures looked a little different. You know what I'm saying. That that was just me though. You know what I'm saying. That was just me. Wow. But that was like the first person like I think I showed like your Instagram to, cause I don't think dudes 
dudes show off like girls on Instagram because dudes also understand that girls look way better on Instagram. Like you always gonna put your best picture. Well, on you know what's crazy. So when I sent my picture or whatever to the group chat, it was actually a video. I would. I was about to say I would love to know what it was picture a video. Was. Uh, what I would that? never forget. It was like you were going to North Carolina and you made a video about like how I don't remember what the video was about, but like I was driving. Yeah, and I sent them a video because I was like, y'all, he looked African in these pictures. I want to. I want y'all to see a video because y'all will really get to see what he looks like. Mm -hmm. And that was that. That's yeah. weird. I don't remember. That, yeah. I don't remember that. I don't think I ever told you that. Nah, you didn't. Yeah. Sucks. It was it was a video. She has secrets. Y'all see this? Y'all yeah. see what I'm saying? It was a video though, secrets. cause I'm like he. I, I don't want y'all to like play me like girl. What did they have? So did anybody say I was ugly? No. Cause everybody, you were handsome. everybody a little ugly to someone. I mean, they probably think you ugly now. I cause they know you. I got the, I bagged their friend. <laughs> So, and she didn't want the first date to end. So. They're going to think you not, they not going to be attracted to you because, I mean, now you. You don't know that. You don't be seeing Tyler Perry movies and stuff. It's always something weird happening. You tripping. Okay, man. You tripping. Up. I know You veer left now. Whatever. Anyway, so, you know what I'm saying? Let's just get it out the way. Since you were sending videos, mm -hmm. I'm sending multiple pictures. What did you find attractive about me? It could be physically. Mentally, whatever, like when we went on our first date, what did you feel like was the most attractive thing about me? Okay, so I can give you Or well, give me one of each. That's what I was about to say. Okay. So physical So of course I liked your height and your skin complexion. But I liked your eyes, they kinda light. I mean they can't really tell now, but like they're like I got the hazels. No, I got the hazels, but they light. They not hazel though. Right. But they right. like light. So Physical, mm -hmm. and you were like kind of like. Yeah, I didn't gain a couple. Stocky. Got that relationship weight now, baby. I'm dead sexy. Look at my sexy body. Everybody else was always either the same height as me, mm -hmm. or kind of like the same size, but yeah. you know that was different. Um, as far as like you, you have like a um. How can I say it? Like you give a splash of hood, you give a splash of smart. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the best of both worlds. Yeah, sometimes you just it. get smart, and then sometimes you just get hood. But I, I got a good balance. Though. Yeah, I got a good. So balance. I like that about you. And um, what else you say? You said. Looks. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of both of them. Yeah, and oh, and like I did like concrete. that you were competitive. It's so crazy because now we get some winners how competitive mm -hmm. you are. But then. Like, I was the same way. But I feel like I've softened out a little bit, and you're mm -hmm. still, like, super competitive. Well, years later, a lot of things I do get on your nerves. Yeah, no, that gets on my nerves. Sometimes. Like, not all the time. Like, sometimes I like it, but now mm -hmm. it's like... So, yeah. after I waited four hours for you... Come to, on, now. Uh, you know what? Okay, I'm not going to interrupt you no more. Because she was late. Y'all, how are you late to the first When it's somebody who doesn't park in D.C. every day... And it was a tornado. So I give you benefit of the doubt. Say it's a tornado one more time. All right. So I had a chance to actually see you walk in the door. Mm -hmm. So I think like that for me was like that was nerve wracking. Cause I'm like I don't know what he, I don't I don't know if he's like at the table already. Is he sitting in the lobby? Like mm -hmm. what is he gonna look? Is he gonna look way different than his pictures? Is he like that was nerve wracking? I talked on the phone the whole way. That's why it took you so damn long. <laughs> You was running your damn mouth. And I know if, if it was windy like you say it was, all the air was like, come on, bro. Like that's, that's what I'm right. saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. But I think what I said earlier kind of was playing in my mind. Mm -hmm. I honestly was going to think I wasn't gonna recognize you. That is wild to me. Because at the time I thought that you looked different in a lot of pictures. So I didn't really know which drink was I getting. Like, was I getting, you know, Cleopatra Jones? Was I getting, you know, this Beyonce vibes? You know, Murray J with the swoop? I wasn't sure. You know what I'm saying? Because I never saw you in person. Because mm -hmm. you used to wear your hair short. Yeah. You also wore your hair long. You had weaves. Sometimes you had braids. Sometimes you had shoulder length. Like. I was completely thrown off. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? You get a new joint every year. But I think I was like, yo, where are you at? Like, I, I think and you're that, impatient. 
very impatient. But I think that that's <laughs> what helped me know it was you because you was like, oh, I'm about to walk out right mm -hmm. now. So now I'm looking at the door and I'm just going to say, whoever walk in, that must be her. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I felt that was. That's how I felt that was. But so, yeah. So you walk in. I'm like, all right, bet. You finally here. You've been taking all day. Um, I'm sitting at the bar taking drinks, all this stuff. Yeah, like, I was not that late. How late do you think you were? Like in all actuality, all jokes is that. No more than an hour. That's a long time. If I'm I don't waiting, think it was an hour. I think it may have been like 30 minutes. All right, we'll just we'll call it 45 to be safe. That's in the middle. Okay. All right. So when I first saw you, you had your weave in, and I thought like, oh, she's very pretty. You know, like most people on a first date, they're always like trying to impress mm -hmm. that person or, you know what I'm saying? They say first impressions are lasting, so we try yeah. to be our best version of ourselves, which is not a bad thing, mm -hmm. but sometimes we're not genuine. Right. So I felt like you were being genuine with me, showing me the real you. Well, I will say this. So I ate before I got there. And you still took my money? <laughs> I was gonna tell you. So you remember I ordered like a um, Caesar salad. But yeah, but now that I think about it, like you still order a salad though. Yeah, that's true. But that day I wasn't that hungry. Well, I ain't tripping because I mean I'm pretty sure the salad. Because I was like, I really food. don't want to be like, cause you know, like eating wild in front of somebody you don't know. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I, I you know, I'm greedy. So. Eat your food. Like, if you're not eating your food, first of all, if I'm paying for it, you better. But I, but see, this is my thing. I know, like, if we're on a first date, mm -hmm. meaning like we haven't, well, for us, we haven't talked that many days, only the four days, so we really didn't know each other. You know what I'm saying? So this is my thing. I don't want to be concentrating on my food. I want to be concentrating on you. Mm -hmm. I want to be talking to you. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just eat, and then get a little salad or something, so we can really just be talking more than mm -hmm. eating. Because when we eat now, when we go out, it's quiet. Well, I'm going to always get... <laughs> so, I'm going to always get what I'm trying to do. But you see what I'm saying? Like, nah, that I, makes sense. I, I, that really, makes I really didn't know you like that. But so I'm never like, going to sacrifice my uh, appetite But for, that's why I ate already. And eating. I had it. And that salad was bomb. <laughs> wow. First I didn't ever knew that. Years later, yeah. I never knew that. But that's interesting. And I didn't know if I was staying. That's that. Because remember, I had another date. I mean, what you was just going to walk out? No, but like... I didn't know what the vibes were going to be. I don't know if it was like, oh, we just going to drink or, you know what I'm saying? Like, because we could have just did the bar thing at Ben's. We didn't have to sit down and eat. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be prepared. But you didn't want to be on time. <sighs> exactly. You never that. So, um, but no, the conversation, you know you, the conversation was great outside of, you know, your little mishaps. I feel like I'm drinking this bottle by myself. I feel like you gotta stop putting me on blast in front of people. <laughs> That's what I feel like. You're babysitting just a little bit. Um, whatever. But All right. So, how long were you actually single? So not like dating, but like actually in a relationship before our first date. I had dealt with. I think I was in a relationship with somebody. Somebody was in a relationship with me that I wasn't it's, in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? And that's always the case. With uh, men. You see what I'm saying? So before I went to school, before I went to school, that was probably the last time I had like a real relationship. Before grad College. school. College. Yeah, grad school. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Before grad school, that was time, the first time I had a, a real relationship. And Grad school was two years. A year and a half. Shout out to me. Come on, I graduated so grad school in a year and a half. That was 2000 and... End of 2016. Uh, because you met me at the end... So I, I met you in February. You graduated that June. No, so yeah, it was twenty sixteen. Yeah, the end of twenty sixteen, say year and a half. Yeah, yeah. What was I mean? Well, I started in December of twenty sixteen. Okay, so you, when you started, you were in a relationship. No. 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 So the beginning of two thousand sixteen. Somewhere around that. I don't remember yeah, exactly okay. the date, but it mm -hmm. wasn't it wasn't winter. Let's just put it like that. It wasn't winter, but it was 2016 for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and it wasn't a long-term relationship at all. Like it probably lasted for less than a year. I mean, I, that's a long time. That is not a long time. I've been in a situation shit for more than that. That's not a relationship. <laughs> like, that's not a relationship. But no, I, I, I was in a relationship 
that I felt like I could have been doing better. You could have been doing better, like better yeah. than her. Yeah, not not looks wise. Like better. I just thought she wasn't really up well, to you. my standards of like maturity. Um, after that, I mean, like I said, we didn't like we didn't end on like bad terms. Mm -hmm. It was just like I think yeah. we probably not gonna make this work. So. I wasn't really, I wouldn't really call that like the best relationship. Now I had a really serious relationship prior to that one mm -hmm. where, I, and I told you about this before, I was, the girl and I were living together mm. at one point. Um, and I always say that that was the most serious relationship I had before us. So I only really talk about that relationship really. Cause yeah. that's the one that I felt like I learned the most about myself. Mm -hmm. Um, especially like living with a person I'm pretty sure we'll test that when we get to that episode but I learned a lot about myself and that person was older than me too and that was the first time I actually dated a girl who was older than me or was in a relationship with a girl that was older than me right so it kind of helped me transition into growing up a little faster but it put a lot of pressure on me too though oh I bet because I felt like I wasn't up to her standard mm -hmm. I wasn't doing what I needed to do in that situation, which is not why we broke up though, because she was a little crazy, what I found out. But you crazy. So two crazy people can't be together. Just a little bit. But yeah, I thought that, you know, that was like the realest relationship. So sometimes when people ask me what was the last relationship mm -hmm. I had, sometimes I like to refer to that one. Because that's the real relationship. Yeah. To me. But what about you though? Like what was cause you talking about I ain't gonna hold you. The math be throwing me off, right, y'all? Like y'all here, right? Like she was, in a, she was in a relationship with this person, but she was in a situation for five years. So at this okay, point, at this point, at this point, you like sixteen because <laughs> we trying to figure out at what point That's in okay. life I don't want to break down the math because I don't like these dudes. You only know of. We ain't even gonna talk about it. But I'm just saying, like you don't know them. Okay, so well, I guess so. I was with someone for about five years but it was never like consistent so it wasn't like five years is a long time to say that you were with someone it was, yeah it was about five it was at like the end of like 2014. this is the situation or the relationship so, so it's not five it's four years sorry but which one is are we no, this is the relationship this is the relationship but it was never like i said it was on off like we were together then we then together. like you know i don't know it's so funny though because i wouldn't classify that as a relationship like, no, we like, were we were like, I would say we were more on than off. Like we really started being off towards the end. Okay. If that makes sense. And I think we were more off towards the end because I think I was outgrowing the relationship. I was just about to ask like, why did it end? Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, it really ended because God was like, I got something greater for you during a tornado. Is. So. But as it was drifting off, I just started dating. Like whoever gave me their number one to take me out, I'm going. For real? I would have got you a long time ago. But this, the thing is, I got that advice from my friends because they always see me like, like I said, being the girlfriend before I was even the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So, going into that last part, like, you know what? Whoever want to take me out, I'm going. Whoever my number, cool. And that's how it was towards the end. But I was still kind of like, you know, if that guy, the guy I was in a relationship with, wanted mm -hmm. to take me out, okay. You Now you wanted them. So tell me this, what do you think was the biggest thing you learned about yourself, for better and for worse, from your past, or the, the last relationship you were in? Not situation, last relationship. At this point, I don't know which one. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, like I said, I, I, it was just... You pick, whichever okay. one. From my last... The last encounter. With a, with a guy other than you. Yeah. Okay, that's easy. What I learned was... Go by the actions, not the words. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, I mean, you still say it now that I can be, um, I want to say naive, but like, what do you, what's the word you use about me? Is it naive? I don't call you naive now. What do you, what do you say? I don't know. I don't know. Um, like I take people's word a lot. Like I kind of give them the, the benefit, benefit of the doubt. doubt. Yes, yeah. there we go. So I, you do, you do that a lot. <laughs> so I was doing that a lot, and mm -hmm. it caused me to kind of like miss the different signs, mm -hmm. miss the different things going the on. Flags, which is everywhere. You just yeah, like, vision. You ain't yeah, seen nothing. See, I'm legally blind. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I'm even still like I just don't pay attention. Mm -hmm. 
because mm-hmm. I I really feel like I take people's word. Mm-hmm. So even down to the proposal, you said you was going to so and so house. I'm like okay, and oh, not even you know what I'm saying. Not even like think a second about it. Like I'm just whatever. So um, I think that's what I learned to kind of like not be as naive or as you know. And what did you learn about yourself like from a positive house aspect of? Like, what was the one thing you was like, I knew that, like, that's what was going to, like, make me better from that. I mean, obviously, what you said mm-hmm. last, that was, like, opening your eyes. But that was because you didn't have them open the first time. But, like, yeah. what what was the other aspect of growth then? I think that's, that's when I was able to, with my, the very last person before you, um, with the incident that happened, I was actually able to be like, you know what? Okay. Like, I wasn't sad about it. Mm-hmm. I wasn't like, oh, I can't believe this. It was just like, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. And it honestly backfired on that person that I was very like, okay, do you? Because when they saw me out doing what I wanted to do because you did whatever you did, it made them feel the way. Cool. So to be able to finally be like, okay, and move on. And that came from having a lineup. That's sad. That don't make no sense. I guess for me, like, <laughs> I'm, I guess just, for me, I'm being honest. The, the biggest thing that I had to learn about myself and my, I'll just say the last relationship. I'll go with the last relationship. The biggest thing I had to learn about myself was like everything that glitters is in gold. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to lie, when I met her, I thought she was like the prettiest girl that I had saw in, in that area. I'll just put it like that. But um, and she was super, she was super nice and uh, whatever like that. And when I met her, she was talking about the finer things in life and all of this other stuff. So I thought like I hit the jackpot. Like not like she had something to, mm-hmm. to provide me with, but I felt like it was somebody that was going to push me further, right? Make me better, mm-hmm. you know, open my eyes to new experiences and things like that. And when we got into the relationship, I realized she was just selling wolf tickets like <laughs> you was not cut like that like you was you was selling something she that was you really you the best representation of herself no the imagination of herself that's what the <laughs> hell it was because it wasn't nothing like that like the grass was definitely not green on that side oh man and uh that was i guess the negative thing mm-hmm. for me that i didn't have prior to and the one thing that i felt like was another part of growth and everything else was I knew that I had a good head on my shoulders and I always wanted somebody who what didn't have to I didn't have to look at you as an equal as far as like where we were in life Mm -hmm. but I always wanted somebody who I felt like wanted more didn't mind going through the trenches to get it didn't mind you know telling me I'm slacking when I'm slacking Mm -hmm. didn't mind you know saying we got this yeah you know so i felt like i never really had that mm-hmm. and when i met you and we'll get into this in another episode like we went through some terrible terrible times not like in our relationship but it was stuff that was going on in our personal mm-hmm. lives and i think that that's what like brought us so close mm-hmm. and i appreciated it and honestly like and it that was so soon it was but that's what some people think you know there's a time limit on when you propose mm-hmm. or get married mm-hmm. but i tell everybody that i know like the time and that was like a whole year yeah. that we was having stuff going on it was awful it made me feel like we were in a relationship for five years it did because yeah. we went through so much we ain't had no choice but to like grow closer mm-hmm. and depend on each other, on each other. yeah like mm-hmm. y'all see that we almost finished each other sentences <laughs> right there what i tried to tell you that <laughs> but now nah, um i thought that that's what i was missing and when i met you and we started to grow together like i found like i knew i had that mm-hmm. and i'm thankful for that so thank you You're welcome. but um yeah those those are some of the things i think like i took from other relationships or seen in our relationship that i didn't have i felt like i was missing mm-hmm. so i thought that was super dope so last question um how do you know that you're ready to be married um i think that I don't know it's almost like a feeling it's not more like age but like more like a feeling Mm -hmm. like I know that here is where I should be Mm -hmm. like with you if that makes sense um I feel like you've helped me grow 
and that's the first time like in a relationship that somebody has actually like helped me grow and i feel like i've always been the leader mm -hmm. in that relationship but with ours i feel like i kind of like sit back a little bit and let you kind of like lead um but i think it just comes with feeling mm -hmm. like i just know like when you know you know i think like for me i knew i was ready for marriage when i was tired of dealing with multiple people like i knew i was ready to find someone to spend the rest of my mm -hmm. life with i mean obviously marriage is you know what some people would call the actual event but i'm saying like i knew i was ready for a long-term relationship that that one that i wanted that to be my last relationship i wanted mm -hmm. to find somebody to grow with share my life with and start sharing experiences yeah. with um when financially things were great and you know we were we were hitting on all cylinders we i were, felt like we it was time yeah i felt like it was time like i felt like you know i wanted you to be my life partner and the only thing that was gonna you know make us take that next step as far as you know the actual person to do something mm -hmm. is all it usually has to be the man yeah. so i had no problem doing it i was fully confident i was fully ready for it and i was super excited because the same friend that encouraged you to go on the first uh, date with me was the first person I reached out to and told her I was ready. Okay. I want to say it. Well, wow. I just felt like the proposal, I mean, I'm not going to say it was at the right time, mm -hmm. but it was. Oh, well, it was a lot of stuff. Yeah, going. so I was That like, day, it was a lot of and stuff. And I just couldn't, on. like, I mean, but that's outside what, of my personal, Yeah. like, we had a little tussle. Mm -hmm. So I was just like. Tussle sounds physical. I mean, no, like argument yeah so when i after proposal when i found out when you told her or mm. when it happened i'm just like so he just was just probably laughing at me the whole time i'm angry about whatever <laughs> we was arguing about and y'all end up talking about proposing i'm yeah. just sitting there angry like you know what forget him and i remember it vividly and i was just like you know Brittany, that's her best friend and i was like Brittany, it's time she was like time for what I was like, let's go get the ring. She was like, can't be, because she's irritated with you. <laughs> she's irritated with you. Can't nah, be. that ain't, no, her initial response, like, you know, Brittany. Mm -hmm. Brittany was like a kid in a candy store. Like, she was so excited. You would have thought I, told, I asked her to get married. Like, and Brittany's already married, by the way. But shout out to them. But, um, yeah, like, I was, I was ready. I knew I was ready. And honestly, I mean, at the end of the day, even if we were going through something at that time, like, that, that, moment wasn't going to change the trajectory of mm -hmm. what i felt like our relationship was yeah, yeah, yeah like all couples go through stuff so I was, but also just like you said you were going through a couple of different things though mm -hmm. personally and that kind of was the silver lining of that day yeah and we'll get into the proposal story guys we'll let you know how it went what was the plan and i'll give you all the details but we're going to save that for another episode because we don't want to give it all away right like we want you to come back mm -hmm. so um i'm just I'm just glad that we were both ready at the same time. I... All right, so for this last <laughs> segment, y'all, we're going to play a little game, have a little fun as we go out. So let's put the glass up. I, you didn't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're babysitting. Why you just. Why you think... <laughs> oh, All my right. gosh. Okay. So for some of you people, depending on how old you are, you may know this game. You may not. Um, it's like the newlywed game. So, I'm going to ask a question. We're going to write down the answers separately. Don't be looking at my board. Y'all can see, we're going to see it on the playback. I'm going to ask a question. We're both going to write the answer. We're going to see if we have the same answer. And then you'll get a chance to ask a question. Okay. And so on and so forth. All right? All right. Winner, loser, got to do the dishes. That's what we're going with. Loser got to do the dishes. Deal? Okay. Oh, and I don't want to watch this. I just washed the dishes. All right. Who takes longer to get dressed? Okay. Write down the name. Don't say like me or you. Mm -hmm. Write down the name. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> don't try to <laughs> All right, on three. One, two, three. Mm. 
That's a lie. What you mean? Church, I always get dressed before you. Marco, now that's a lie. No. How many times I'm sitting out here waiting on you, you still ironing your clothes? That's because you don't iron your clothes. So you take no, no, longer no, 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 to get no, no, ready. No, no, no. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I usually let you get in the bathroom first. And, and all still, that I'm dressed before you. You're not dressed before I me. I am. Why am I always the first person out to do it? That's not true, Mark. Okay. That's not all that's right. not true? You it's don't need to have your shoes on. Shoes, what I'm saying is shoes, how many times... Your shoes is part of getting dressed. How many times have I been out here waiting on you? How many times? Not a... No, 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 no. Here, here. De delete that. <laughs> delete it. You are like... Delete it. Okay. We're going to agree to disagree. She a bully for real. real. Y'all see what I go through? Yeah. She tried to get me drunk. Then she make me feel like I'm the person that's getting dressed. So you'll go. All right. Go. Who cleans up the most? Ready? <laughs> go. Cleans up? Everything. Kitchen, bathroom, living room, bedroom. Alright, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I only give it to you because you you do you do initiate cleanup, but I don't dirty up a lot though. It doesn't matter who dirties what. I'm it's just saying a lot of stuff don't up. have to be cleaned you're, on a you're giving excuses. You're messier than me. Now let's be honest. Are you messier than me? Yes. Okay. But I still That's why up. you gotta clean up. You're no, that's to not why. I clean up after you all the time. But you're supposed to clean up after yourself. No, I know. So hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Because I do clean up after you a lot. Okay. I just don't tell you. Can I see the eraser? No. <laughs> Come on, it's, man. You got your own. Come on, man. Phil. Right here. Okay. I have. Oh, let me not throw it because we're going to need it. Who is. I think this gets interesting, actually. Who is the better cook? You know, the dynamics have changed. The dynamics have changed. That's why I feel like it's a good one to, to throw in there. Okay. Oh, shoot. I need the eraser. That's right there. Okay, so I have an explanation. Can I write my explanation? No. You have to write your... This, you have to write a what name? you said, yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Wow. I'm not even <laughs> I saw it already. So this is my explanation. So I think you season food better. Mm. Like you, it's never too salty, never too bland. It's like, it. it's good. And you do a better presentation than me. Me, I don't care about the pre presentation. I just want to taste it. Okay. But you actually like set it on a plate, like you put the parsley, like you like really give it a restaurant. I put both because I think there's we certain do things, things. Yeah, I think it's things I like to make and things you like to make, and I think what you like to make you make very well. Yeah. And I think vice versa. I just put me because I didn't want you to play with me. Teach us. <laughs> Teach us. Teach us. Okay. All right. <laughs> Is it my go? What's the it's my gun. All right, wait, wait. What annoys me that you do? Annoys? Uh huh. <laughs> I I think is this. It's gonna be something stupid. Okay. Ready? All right. One, two, three. <laughs> That's definitely what I, <laughs> I still do. I thought I was doing better. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, that doesn't annoy. It only annoys me when, like, I'm doing something serious and it just comes out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could be writing a serious text message, like, What's a serious text message? If it's a like, text message, if it's, message, tea going if on, it's a text message, it's not that serious. No, it is when it's in a group chat. The group chat is not definitely have not the that racer? serious. But when you do that while I'm doing something serious or if like I'm irritated and you just you just get me at the wrong times. Sometimes. 
Alright, I got you. I got you. I got you. What is my favorite TV show? Of all time. Alright. Of all time. I heard you. Okay. One, two, three. I know you got this wrong. <laughs> First of all, that's that's wrong. What is it? What? You never even like I don't want to know now you're capping. No, I'm not. Everybody know before I moved in with you, that's all I used to watch. Oh, this is what you talk about the most though. I but I started watching that around the time that like uh, like maybe like a year before I met you. But what I'm saying is you talk about this show a lot. I said my favorite show. You have show an all office time. mug, an office show. I mean I shirt. Love it. I love it. But you don't have none of those things for I used to have a family guy everything too before I moved in with you. I'm so serious. Before we moved in with each other, because I ain't no scrub. Okay. You was wrong. You took an L, bro. All right, so what is... Now you want to try to give me a hard one. Look, she y'all yeah. see the competitive look? She's trying to make sure I get it wrong this time. What is... You should get it right this time because I've I'm gonna get it right. This. I'm going to get it right. A plethora of times. I'm going to get it right. Who is my favorite, like, 90s, 2000s artist? Got this. Bet y'all I get this right. Guarantee. You doing the dishes. I won't even know the count. You doing the dishes because I feel like you lose them. Ready? You say nineties, two thousand. All right, come on. And it's, it's come okay. on, man. One. No, no, no. Well, I no, said no, 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 no. I got the wrong one. I no, got the wrong. I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, know, I mean, I know. childhood. I know, I know, I know. I always think it's that one, and I feel like that's the right one. I shouldn't leave it. Let you change it. On three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. What you say? Shh. Is it Bow Easy? <laughs> yeah, come on, man. <laughs>